look at how big this screen is. Imagine, you know, you are out and about. You've got this um, monitor with you, you put it in a pouch. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the ThinkPad ThinkVision M14 portable monitor that I've just picked up from Lenovo. I've been wanting to pick up a portable monitor for my everyday use but um, because of the COVID-19 situation, um, this has been like selling for hotcake and as a result, um, it has been out of stock from Lenovo for quite a while. So when I saw them being available on their website, I picked it up immediately. So in the box, there's fairly minimum accessories in there that comes with the uh, monitor. The first you're seeing is the user manual. The second bit that you're seeing right now is the felt pouch with a microfiber material on the inside that gives you the flexibility to carry the monitor when you're out and about. Very nice touch. Um, the next thing in the black little box there is the USB-C cable. The cable itself is very thick and fairly sturdy. I did try with other USB-C cable that I have. Um, it won't power the monitor up so I think there is like certain specification that the cable needs to provide. I will be exploring the option more and perhaps show you guys if I manage to find one. Um, that is the wall mount clip where you, you can attach the two clips to the back of the monitor and then it allows you to attach to the wall or wall mount it. I'm not sure whether it's VESA compatible but um, we'll have to check. When I first hold the monitor it's actually very very light and the screen itself it's 14 inch as the name suggests as you can see there it is a matte screen so it's fairly good for most of the condition because it's not reflective but the screen itself is really really light um, the kickstand is built in as you can see there so the it allows the us the flexibility to basically look at the monitor at um, lots of different angles and it's very very sturdy so they have like two USB ports on both sides you could plug the USB cables on either side and then it will power up the monitor itself in the next couple of clips I'm going to be showing you various scenarios how I use the monitor in this example I've connected the Type-C monitor to my desktop PC by using a special PCIe card that offers Type-C alternate mode display. So the way it works is that I have to connect a DisplayPort output from my GTX 1070 to the DisplayPort input to the PCIe card. The card itself is very difficult to track down and I've linked it down below. Next, I'm going to just show you how to improve the productivity by using a dual screen setup when I'm editing on Lightroom. Then I'm, I'll show you some examples of how you can utilize the dual screen by, for example, working on a Word document while browsing on YouTube or listening to music.
Fishy here. Welcome back to Dope Tech. I'm your host, Marquez Brownlee. Dope Tech videos used to have a theme. Yes. Does this video have any sort of theme at all? Absolutely not. This is three completely unrelated items. They have nothing to do with each other. And I'm going to take that as a, sort of a challenge to make So what I'm going to show you next is if you've got a quite recent mobile phone, like in my case, I'm using a Huawei P30 Pro. I'll show you the other usage of this monitor. So what I will do is literally just remove this and ta-da! So with this setup, you can see that this turns into a sort of like a mini computer. It allows you to allows me to use all the apps on my mobile phone. For example, open my Chrome and you know scroll up and down so this phone turns into a touchpad scroll up and down and I could you know use you could see that I could use the touchpad and type And use it as a keyboard and scroll down. Let's go to bbc.co.uk. There you go. So, if you've got this monitor with you, instead of you know just browsing through a little screen, if you connect a cable to this, instantly you get. A very big screen so it's, it's just not that so for if you but when you connect the type C cable into in my case um, the P30 Pro it allows me to select what I want to do ie if I want to use as a you know, a desktop mode or phone mode. So for those gamers, I only have one game installed in my mobile phone and this is the one. Look at how big this screen is. Imagine, you know, you are out and about You've got this um, monitor with you, you put it in a pouch. All you need to do is connect it and then you are playing on a huge screen. That is just so awesome. So I'll just show you quickly like... Just look at that. It's how big compare to a mobile phone. Right, enough of me showing you the game. But you get the idea. This is so versatile. And I'm not sure whether you could see, but let me change to desktop mode it's better that way so the power bank hasn't been removed so it allows a charge through as well you can't really see but basically the power bank is charging the mobile phone through 
the monitor. The beauty of this monitor is that it's being connected with only USB-C cable as you can see here. Yep, here and so it takes on very little power. Um, I'll turn it around. You see that is powered by USB-C cable. And the other bonus is that it actually allows um, Type-C power charge through. So there is actually another USB port here um, so what I'm gonna do I will plug in my power bank through USB type C port and show you what happened apologies because I'm shooting this um, single-handedly so it's a bit shaky I'll just have to put it down for like one second so that I could plug that in so you could see here so this is actually very very useful whereby you literally connect one USB Type-C cable to another Type-C cable just to power this device and you can see that here I've literally used a quite a powerful power bank with type-c charged through through this device and you can clearly see that it is you know powering this Microsoft Surface Pro 7 so this is a very very useful um, monitor this is one of the brightest and um, portable monitor that I can find on the market right now and in terms of color accuracy it is also fairly good so just you could see on the screen right now that um, according to the i1 display pro the brightness that this monitor that can achieve at 100% brightness is 300 um, units which I'm, I'm quite surprised to be honest because the rater is 300 and then it's bang on so um, the quality or the brightness of this display is really good I mean it's not as bright as those um, mobile phones right now where you could view comfortably when you're out on the bright sun but as you can see this is like one of the brightest at 300 nits